guys welcome back to my channel so i have been a little bit mia recently i have been in australia with my family so i just took a little bit of a break from all of my social media platforms and now i'm back and i have done lots of shopping i have been to sephora i have been to mac i have been to mecca maxima i have been to priceline i have been everywhere and i have spent way too much money like probably about a thousand dollars my husband has only just started talking to me again and i am here to put all of this makeup on my face for you and show you what i bought so it's a haul slash try on for all of you out there if you're new to my channel my name's emma pickering this channel is about everything beauty and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so let's get straight into the tutorial and put some makeup on this bare face so the first thing I got was a primer and this is the Benefit Professional. I've had this in the past but I only had like a teeny little travel size one. So I bought a full size for me to use because I actually really like this. It fills in my pores amazingly and I use it almost every day. Um, I usually only just put this on uh, my nose and my beginning of my cheek and just on my forehead so my t-zone area um because i just have a bit of enlarged pores in that area so i'm just going to use it everywhere because i don't have another primer so this is just going to go everywhere how y'all been been in australia for 10 days and i loved it it was amazing so now that I've primed my face, I'm now going to put on foundation. The two foundations that I bought while I was away was the Lancome 10 Idol Ultra 24 Hour Foundation. This is meant to be a really long wearing foundation and I got the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So I, Nikki Tutorials recently did a video on like flawless foundation or... I think it was flawless foundation or it was like stay all day foundation and she recommended these two foundations so I have used these separately and they're really good but she recommended using these together so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna put these on together and see if it gives a flawless finish so the colors I got was sand 1w2 and what is this one this one is 01 beige alabart Lancome has everything in French, so it is very, very hard to say. So the bottle looks like this, the Lancome one, really sleek, really, really pretty. It has a pump, which is awesome, and the Estee Lauder one comes in a glass bottle as well. This doesn't have a pump, but I know you can buy them now, so I wish I had got that. And so to put this all over my face, I'm using a beauty sponge. I got this while I was away. It's actually legit beauty blender. I have had them in the past. Um, I forgot my beauty sponge while I was away so I bought a new one and um, I do like these but I just find they're not as sturdy and robust and they break down a lot quicker than other beauty sponges but I do like it. So I've just mixed these on the back of my hand and here we go. So that's the foundation done. They do look really, really pretty together. I actually really like the way that it looks together. It's actually really, really pretty and it's not completely matte at all. It's pretty luminous. So I actually like the way they work together. So for concealer, we're gonna conceal our skin. <coughs> Sorry, I got sick while I was away. So I have a little bit of a wheeze going on, if you can hear that. So I got the Naked Skin um, Concealer by Urban Decay, and I got the color Light. Um, I have used this a couple of times while I have been away, and I actually really like it. It is quite a thick consistency, but it actually covers and brightens pretty well. I actually am loving it so far. So just highlighting all the areas of my face like I would normally. And what I've been doing lately is putting a bit <laughs> everywhere. I've been putting a bit in some of the fine lines on my head to try like push them out so they don't look so bad. And it's been working actually. It's actually been working a treat. And my fine lines haven't been looking so bad on my forehead so now I'm just gonna blend all that in so 
that is the concealer it all blended as I said it hides pretty well and it brightens under the eye pretty well so it works really good so to set our concealer I didn't get a loose powder but I did get a pressed powder by MAC this is the MAC Studio Fix um, powder foundation so I'm just going to set underneath my eyes with that just with the sponge that it comes with just pushing that concealer in with some of the powder just to make sure that it doesn't crease because I have a hard time with concealer creasing on me so that's why I need to set everything in place so that's that all set in place and now we're going to bronze up the face so I got two bronzers while I was away I got the Too Faced um, Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea and the Hoola Benefit Bronzer I'm going to use the Sweethearts Bronzer today I have used this in the past I've used a whole one of these this is my Holy Grail Bronzer absolutely love this bronzer um, Too Faced bronzers are just amazing I absolutely love their bronzers um, and there is no way that you can put too much on with this like it just works perfectly and it blends out beautifully and you can never kind of overdo it with these bronzers so the brush that I'm going to use for my bronzer today is one of these Tarte unicorn brushes so I got this set as well because I just thought it was so pretty and it was only $50 for five brushes which I didn't think was too bad and yeah they're just really pretty and novelty really and I just bought them because they were cool so they look like this they are really really pretty really 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 soft like I think they are so soft and beautiful and really sturdy and they don't sound cheap so that's that's a bonus so I'm just going to put on my bronzer with this big fluff the the <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk today I am slightly sick as you can hear I'm quite nasally um, so I'm going to use this brush here which is like a tulip tipped brush to put on my bronzer so the sweetheart bronzer looks like this just it's so pretty like this is just my favorite thing my favorite bronzer of all time and it just gives the most beautiful beautiful glow to the skin and as I said, you can never overdo it. So that is the skin bronze. Now I didn't get a new contouring kit or anything while I was away, but I have been using the Hoola bronzer as a contour shade lately. I just think it is a really nice contour shade. So I'm going to use that today. And I've been using the brush that comes with it. Um, it's actually really good for contouring. So that's just a little thing for you. That This brush actually comes in handy. So I'm just going to contour like I usually would, but using the Hoola bronzer, um, I've just been really liking it. It's not a contour shade, but I like it. Like that. So now I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and sharpen this up a little bit. So now we're going to blush up the cheeks and I got this e.l.f blush kit and this is in light and it is so pretty it looks like this you get four shades um i thought this was really cool because you do get four shades and they just look like everyday shades except for this one um they are quite pigmented they don't come off powdery and it was really really cheap so i bought this because i kind of stick to the same blush all the time and i just thought that this shade down here was just such a pretty color so i'm going to use this today and i'm just going to use the same tulip brush that i used before to put that on my cheeks really 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 pretty so now we're going to get on to highlight and I got this highlighter from MAC which I just thought was so beautiful this is their extra dimension skim finish and this is in Beaming Blush. <laughs> I couldn't find the name of it. Um, this is just such a pretty, pretty colour. So um, the pattern in it is really, really pretty. And it's like a goldy pink. Um, it's just so, so gorgeous. Um, I absolutely love it. I'll swatch it for you here. So as you can see, it's just a pretty, pretty pinky gold. And I absolutely love it. And I'm just going to put that on with a Real Technique setting brush. Just 
And like, look at that. That is so, so pretty. <gasps> and just some on my nose. And Cupid's bow. So pretty. And now that the base is kind of done, I'm going to spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have had this in the past. This is their new packaging. I have been using this most of the time while I've been away and it has been keeping my makeup on point all day. This stuff is amazing. Um, I don't know, I don't really remember how much it was, but if you want your makeup to stay on your face all day, you need to get this. And I just spray this everywhere. I have been like bathing in this stuff. And then I get something and fan it dry. That is the trick here. You need to fan it dry and it makes everything stick to your face. Like it sticks if you fan it. So now we're going to get into the eyes. So I'm just zooming you in a little bit. Hey, how's it going? So I didn't get an eyeshadow palette while I was away. I just didn't really see anything that really, really stood out to me. So I didn't buy one. So what I'm going to use for eyeshadow today, I'm just going to improvise. And I'm just going to use the Sweethearts bronzer and just put that... All I'm just going to put that in the crease and all over the lid and that's just going to be our eye makeup today. Just super simple because we're going to do a bright ass lip today. So we're just keeping the eyes simple. And I'm just using the blending brush that came in that Tarte um, brush set. Um, this is a really, really soft blending brush. It is so soft. It feels so nice on your eyes. I just love these brushes. So now we're going to go in with eyeliner and the eyeliner that I got while I was away are these NYX eyeliners here. This is the NYX Vivid Liquid Liner. I got a blue one. This is their Vivid Brights collection and just a, a true black eyeliner. I've heard so many good things about this eyeliner so I really wanted to get it. So I'm just going to use the black today. The blue is absolutely beautiful though. Like I'm just going to show you how beautiful this blue is. I have used it on my eyes already and it is stunning. Like absolutely love it but I'm just going to stick with black today because we're being basic so I'm just going to do a wing and I'll be right back and I'm back so I put on a liquid eyeliner and some fake eyelashes the eyelashes that I'm wearing are the new ones here I got by Tarte these are the Tarte Tartus Pro um, eyelashes and these are in flirt and they are just really really big and really flirty um, they are really really nice feeling um, I just have a problem with fake eyelashes with like the ones with bands it's like my eye is a funny shape and they just don't bend to the shape of my eye so I had so much trouble trying to put these on so if they look jacked that is why. I also got some other eyelashes. So I got two by um, I got two by J Cat Beauty, and these are the same. They're just EL13. I just thought they were really pretty, and I really like the separated look of them. And they've got no lash band, so things with no lash band tend to work better for me. And I also got these ones by Ilua. Um, I did wear these, but once again, it was the same situation. They have a band on them, and it's like the band isn't the right shape for my eye. So I have ordered a bunch off eBay as well. I'm hoping they arrive soon um, just to see if they work for me. I got ones with no lash band because that just seems to work better for my eye shape. I don't know what the deal is with that. So I haven't put on lower lash mascara because I wanted to show you what I was using. So I got the Benefit Their Real Tinted Primer. So this just looks like the Benefit 
their real mascara it's exactly the same but this is a primer and it's brown and what this you do with this is you put it under your mascara and it actually gives you more volume and I can just tell you this stuff actually works it is awesome I absolutely love it and then the other mascara the actual mascara I got was the roller lash by benefit I've had this in the past and I absolutely loved it so I just got a new one because I just think it's awesome but these two together are just uh, match made in heaven they're amazing so I'm just gonna put that on my lower lashes so this is the primer you could wear the primer on your own it just gives your eyelashes a hint of color but under mascara this stuff is just next level amazing so that's the primer so like this would look amazing under like when you're having like a no makeup makeup day um it's just a brown color and it just gives a tint to your eyelashes so now i'm going to go in with the roller lash this is awesome for bottom lashes like this is one of the best bottom lash mascaras the only problem with i have with this is it gives my eyelashes so much length that it ends up under my eye like the struggle is real this happens every day i get mascara under my eye it drives me insane But do you know the best thing to do is leave it to dry and then you get a Q-tip and you just rub it on it and it flicks off. So now we're going to get on to eyeliner and I bought this four pack of eyeliners by Marc Jacobs. I've heard multiple amazing things about the Marc Jacobs eyeliners but they are $30 a piece. Whereas this pack here I think was $42 and you got four mini ones. So I was just kind of uh, thinking about money saving and that means I get to trial four different colours. So the colours that it comes with are a brown a blue a black and a nude color so the black and the nude color are like their fine tip gel eyeliners so these are really 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 fine i don't know if you can if it's going to focus there we go so it's a really really fine tip so you can get in that waterline and that tight line these are awesome i have been using them while i was away and they do really really stick to your eyes they don't come off they're just amazing so i'm going to use the blue today which is just their gel eyeliner and it's just got a normal tip and they wind up so you don't actually need to sharpen them which is awesome i have been loving putting the blue in my waterline and my husband loves it as well because he just thinks that it makes my eyes pop so i've just been loving this at the moment just for a bit of extra 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 you know just because we're all a little bit extra so that is the eyeliner there see you can just see it gives a subtle pop to the eye and just makes the eyes stand out i just like the way that it looks and these eyeliners they stay all day they're awesome they are probably worth the money and i'll probably look at getting more colors because i just think they're so so pretty and they stay like they stay there so now we're going to get onto the brows because my brows aren't done so i got this kit here which is by benefit which is the bigger and bolder brows and it comes in a tin like this which is really cool and you get inside here you get the ready set brow you get the cub brow you get the high brow and you get like a stencil thing which I haven't used um, I thought this came with the give me brow I thought this was the give me brow and it turns out it isn't so I had to go and back and buy that separately so today I'm just going to use the cub brow which is like the benefits version of a pomade so the lid has like a little angled brush and it just comes like this which is awesome and this product is amazing like I absolutely love it and the brush actually isn't that half bad so I'm just going to go put on my brows and I will be back in a minute so that is the eye makeup done just super simple because as I said the lip is just going to be bold so now we're going to get on to the lip and this is the MAC um, matte lipstick in Lady Danger. Um, I just have to be honest, this isn't actually mine. Um, this is my niece's, but it somehow ended up in my bag and I have been using it ever since and I absolutely love it, so I need to go buy my own because it is so pretty. But I'm gonna put this on my lip today and just show you how pretty this is. Like, it is vivid, man. Oh yeah. 
like seriously this is the prettiest color ever it is a stiffer formula and it is quite hard to put on but once it's on your lip it's not a super drying matte lipstick like it is actually pretty comfortable on the lip and i just love this color like i think it is so pretty so this is like all the new makeup that I bought. I got a few skincare items. Well, they're just face masks really. So I used one while I was away, but these are the Sephora face masks. So I got an avocado face mask. I got the Ma Sephora Rose Eye Mask. And I got the Sephora um, Rose Cleansing Wipes. Um, I just saw them on a stand and just decided that I wanted to buy them and... So I did so. So that was all the makeup that I bought while I was in Australia. Way too much. I spent way too much money. But you know what? YOLO. Like, I love makeup. What you gonna do? So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So I hope that you're all having a really good afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a good one. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.